everyone, welcome to another episode of AWS On Air. My name is Jeff Mershak. I am a senior solutions architect for our DOD Air Force team, and we are live here at reInvent 2022 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm joined for this special session with really two cool folks. AM, we'll start with you. Why don't you introduce yourself, and then we'll talk to with our guests. You know, Jeff, every session with me is a special session, I just love have it. to say. Yeah. Just kidding. I'm A.M. Gorelli, a developer advocate for Game Day, joined with uh, Marie. Hi, everyone. I'm Marie. You may have seen me before. If not, it's yeah, a pleasure to meet all of you. You're not really a guest. Sort of like, I mean, yeah, so I get to be a guest today. Like Normally, alumni, I yeah, guess. I get to be a correspondent every once in a while. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be a guest and talk about AWS Game Day, what's happening here, um, what the content looks like so you can play um, whether you're here at reInvent or you can play um, down the road. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm also kind of like a guest right now, too. It's yeah. weird. It feels weird being down here. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Well, so, what's interesting about this is that I've heard AM just like game day, game day, game day, reInvent, reInvent, game day, game day, game day. Literally my job, Jeff. I have to. <laughs> So anyway, I have not partaken in the game day at all, so we figured we'd take this opportunity for me to be totally the newbie to go through uh, one of these missions or uh, voyages or I don't know what quest. Quests. Quest. Quest. Yes. Can we pull up the quest too? Just just yes, make sure it it's, it's, Let's it's bring visible. It up. So we're going to go through this together and show the readers, uh, the readers, the watchers, what this is all about and how to play. And maybe we should tell you about what a quest is first. Real quick. Do you want to take that? I don't already? even know. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to. So yeah, so AWS Game Day is gamified learning. So it's a risk-free environment where you get to learn and use AWS. Um, try real world examples of things uh, breaking down and you having to try and fix it and all of those types of things. So that's game day. And then we build these quests. So Quest is a really op uh, awesome opportunity to kind of focus on different pieces. So if you want to, we have quests if you want to focus on a security quest, if you want to focus on a machine learning quest. Today I know we're going to focus on a DevOps quest, uh, which I'm really excited about. So using services that I don't get to use super often. And so game day is a great way to learn and, and really just see what's out there that maybe you and your company or you and your friends may or may not know about that AWS has to offer. Yeah, I, I really love about Quest specifically. It lets you know what you're about to get into, too, before you start. It's going to take 45 minutes, which clearly we don't have. We don't have. So yeah. we're not going to get to all of it. Uh, it's also, uh-oh, Marie, because you're going to be playing this with me. Yes. It's a four out of five. Yeah, so it's one of our harder ones. Pretty tough. Yeah. Uh, uh, Josh, if you're watching this, Josh was our developer for this quest, so hopefully I make you proud yeah. um, as we walk through this. We'll, we'll see. What I like is that when you say DevOps, that intimidates some people, especially mm -hmm. if you're not a developer. They think that you know maybe this is too hard for me, but this seems like an easy way to at least be um, uh, exposed to it in a fun way. So that's yeah. why I'm excited about this. Well, and the fun part, too, is you know when you're doing well and you know when you're not because it's points space. Everyone loves points. I know. It's weird, isn't it? Like, yeah. even, like, right now, these points aren't counting for anything. We're not competing, but, like, I deeply care about how many yeah. points we're about I to mean, get. I mean, they're ego points for me yeah. today. So, right. yeah, like, I'll just, it'll feel better. It still counts somehow. Yes. Uh, all right. So the quest is ready to go now. It's deployed. And like you mentioned, Marie, you actually get an AWS account. Yes. And it already has a bunch of stuff provisioned in it, too. Yep. And these are kind of like puzzles you have to come in and solve, figure out what's deployed, how it's working, yep. what's wrong. Uh, there's a lot of text here. We probably can't read all this yeah. text. But let's see if we can get some like keywords. That's what I like to do in a game day, yeah. is like skip around. Get those keywords, yeah. yeah. And essentially, each quest has a story. Um, yes. So for those watching at home, you can kind of read the story. We won't read through the whole thing. But essentially, we are uh, we have a fleet of unicorns, and we're trying to help them uh, do the space test, uh, space taste test, I believe what it is. Um, yeah. And so we need to help them get that sorted. Well, I yeah. see something about dot matrix printers in there, so that that's, that's a little scary. But. Yeah. yeah. 
Sorry, I was reading while you guys were talking. No, that's good. Yeah. Because you're playing too, yes, Jeff. Yes. I didn't tell you. Hey, welcome to the game. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what do we do first? So, the first question is, what is the URL of the Unicornis Operation System, or UOS, web application? All right. Um, so, we need to... Look at that. Yeah, so we got an elastic load balancer. That's in the example, like they give you a little example of what it it's might look like. what it like. would look like, yeah. So we know, I know ELB means elastic, you just said it, elastic, elastic load, load balancer. balancer. Yeah. So, so what do you think? I think we should start, since it's a web application, let's start with code deploy, see what's there. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so, so now I see it created this account and you need to go and look for, okay, I'm with you. So, oh, look. Okay, so we, we already something. have an application here. Pull that up. Oh, look, it matches. That's yeah. the name of the application. So we have the application. And There's then the we, instance. We have an instance in here. Um, let's see. Do you think we need to make our own application, or should we use the existing application? I think we should use the existing. I think that what the first question is, we have to just find this URL, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's pretty simple. Yeah. So, I mean. I think ELB tells me it might be under networking. ELB, right? Yeah, let's try that first. Yeah. Okay. So, we know we've got this. We know we've got, like, some assets to play yeah, out. But we to don't the code even suite. know if the ELB was part of the pipeline yet. Probably was, but. We definitely know it's going to be. In got it. Got to shout out our, our friends on the AWS console. ELB is not a separate service. It's actually underneath EC2. EC2. But even when I type in ELB, EC2 comes up. Yeah, perfect. Which is really helpful. So nice. We'll go here. Let's. All right, load balancers. Okay. So we got two so here. There it is. Keyword. Okay. All right. Let's see where's, where's our URL. Where's the URL? Oh. Right there. There we go. DNS name. And I remember on the last page it said, remember to add the HTTP. Yeah, include the yeah. HTTP. Oh, good call out. Good, yeah. See, you're the one of those people that read directions, which is super helpful. I okay. just go and start pushing buttons. <laughs> Only when I'm on Successfully camera. Successfully updated. It may take one minute to evaluate your entry and update the content accordingly. This Let's is what I like to do in game day is go to the score events. This is how you see points. Yes, they're and coming. So yeah, while you're looking at the score events, what, let's just review. What we did was it was a simple question, and we looked a few places. So that taught us where ELB is. Mm -hmm. AM just mentioned it's not under networking or VPC. It's a feature under EC2. So we just learned a little bit about what ELB is, even though we didn't really create anything, but we learned where to find things in the console. So yeah, uh, I'm with I'm with you guys. We've got ourselves a. Uh, a web page here too. I just put in the oh, perfect. The ALB. Yeah. Is what it well, looks and the like. thing that was really helpful, as you saw, the question helps you find the answer. So there's ELB in the URL. Um, we wanted to figure out like was the application actually deployed, so right. we can make sure that the URL existed. Um, so definitely really helpful. Well, it might take a second for the score to go. Or yeah. I hope we put the right answer. Yeah. In. Let's let's continue on. <laughs> Uh, we may okay. also be having some uh, technical difficulties with my AWS account, too, and running in here, which I can check out. But uh, let's just look at the next tip in case we can start working on that while this, this works to resolve. So we got some tips here. We didn't read these. Yeah. So yeah. No, need to sh no need to shell, which is great. Um, so task one, fixing the plumbing. So let's see. We created two pipelines. Um, it looks like we haven't deployed the UOS web service yet, so we need to deploy it. Okay. So I think we go back to code deploy where it was. Well, Maybe, hold on. This, this is talking about pipelines. Yeah, so yes. it looks like we're going to need to look at the code commit repository, see what's going on there. Yeah. Maybe. Well, how about, I think that this would be great for our watchers at home. What if we click the hint? Oh, yeah. And we see what it says. Now, we're going to lose some points. Wait, what? 
Really? You didn't tell me that before you hit the button. You can get. I haven't clicked the button yet. But. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. We're gonna lose 2,500 points, and uh, we can go negative into our score. Yeah. All right. Oh, interesting. We have to finish the pipeline. Yeah, the pipeline needs to deploy the web service to the existing auto scaling group. Okay. Be a single action uses code deploy. All right. Let's go check out those pipelines yeah. too. Let's pull so those we need up. To add oh yeah, I had it pulled up. There we go. So let's see. We've got a web app yeah. and a web service. It said, it, which one was it? The service? It was the web service. Okay, yeah. let's see the service. So what we're looking at is, is a dedicated pipeline just for the web service yeah. for our, our viewers. Oh look, yeah, it's not deployed, just built. Yes. Right. So we have to create a deploy, deploy step. Yes. And that's what you were talking about with code deploy. Yes, that's what I. Well, I. Th if, I thought we should investigate code deploy just because we are looking at an application. Um, but yeah, we assumed that it was already deployed, so we yeah, need to go back. Yeah, I totally did. Um, to code deploy, and we need to create a, a web application that is tied to that um, deployment. Okay, interesting. Normally, you would assume that the deployment would be one of the last steps in the pipeline, but maybe in this pipeline, that was never completed. So, makes sense. We might can do it from here, at a stage. Deploy, right? That's yeah. what we're going to work on. Add an action group. Deployment. Deploy. Action provider. So this is a uh, code deploy, right? Yes. Okay. I wonder if we have to make the code deploy thing first. Oh yeah, it looks like we do. Yeah, so we have to make. All right. uh, yeah, so I think we need to go back to code deploy and right. create our own app. We so create, create update, an application? Yeah, and then update the pipeline to deploy the web service. OK, so here we go. So unicorns for life, maybe? Oh, you want to call it unicorns yeah. for life? All right. Why not? For, With a four? Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. I read your mind, I Marie. I, I knew it. it. I, I knew. Um, OK, and the EC2 on-prem. It's EC2? Yeah. OK. And then we... We have to create a deployment group, right? Yeah, so we choose create deployment group. And there's, you have to name everything. Coming up with names is hard. I know. Um, um, unicorn corns deploy. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, I misspoke. Maybe naming things is, is your specialty. I love for it, sure. yeah. You're, you're you have to have fun. Killing this, OK. Um, so we should be looking for Unicornus operation system. There we go. So that was already made for us. Yeah. That's nice. Which is really helpful, especially if you're like if this is your first time using it. That, I am hard. Yeah. yeah. So just, just to make sure everyone's following, we are choosing the service role that the pipeline will assume when deploying uh, the infrastructure. Yes. And we're yes. going to go with EC2 instances, I'm assuming. Yes. OK. And then for deployment, are we at deployment settings yet? Yes, AMC, we're at a deployment AMC. type. Type, OK. I, we could try blue-green, but I think that'll add some time yeah, to our Yeah, we quest. should stick with in place. So we can show people how we can get out of the negative. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we're <laughs> we don't have any points. No. We actually, at, if we end with negative points, we have to pay Josh, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Josh, you heard that. It was, what, $2,500? Is it $1 per point? Probably. Oh, no. Yes. All right. Um, so let's do all at once. OK, all at once. Um, We've got a load balancer, don't I we? I would say, for the sake of time, we should uh, disable load balancing. I'm pretty sure that would hurt us in the future, but for, yeah. so that everyone can see this, let's do that. Do we need this environment configured? I don't think we need this. Uh, yeah, we we need EC2 auto scaling groups, I believe. Auto scaling groups for the future, yeah. Oh, and we already had one. Okay. Yes. Nice. Okay. Let's try it. Let's go. Okay. okay, and then. Do we create the deployment manually, or do we do it through the pipeline? 
Uh, Should be through the pipeline. I wonder if there's anything about that. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back to the pipeline. Okay. Back to the pipeline. Service. We got to go service here. Yeah, so Unicorn is Operations applause, by the System way. Web Service. You can hear that. Yeah. Uh, I Good just job. want to call it out. We're, we're doing really it. well. You that an unrelated group applauded for us. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so we're back at the pipeline. We need to choose Unicorn. Edit, right? Yes. And we yeah, add the stage is, this now. This is what you tried earlier. Now that we've created the deployment. We didn't have anything yeah. to add. Now yeah. we created the deployment. Now we can add okay. the stage that performs it. I'm glad you two are here, by the way. Deployment. You got a spell. You didn't mention there'd be spelling in this. Yeah, I mean, you if you just type letters, it's close, so. That's true. No Input, really, oh really. yeah. So we have a code commit repo, right? Uh, so I'm, I think we want to do build output. Oh yeah, because yeah, we had the build stage. Yeah. Good catch. Application name. So unicorns for life. Deployment group. Only one choice. Yep. This is what we just created in the last few steps. Okay. And save. Then save. Got double save. And clicks done, which we did. And then. Hey, look, didn't run. Shall didn't we run it? Run. Yeah, let's run it. Once, release. Yep. So choose release, and then hopefully we did it right. <laughs> this is how I could just so, release to prod. Yeah. You know. So. CICD pipeline is generally pretty involved, and what we just did was a fun way to learn all the different pieces, parts, what, what is needed first before you create the stage. Uh, yeah, this is really exciting. Well, and it, yeah, and it showed, like, even us, we, like, bounced around trying to figure out what was deployed, what wasn't deployed, so that we yep. can answer the first question. So now we need the URL, the yes. updated URL, to I put mean, into the answer, right? Technically, too, I don't think we had to have made a deployment group in code deploy. I think it, it ultimately benefits us because we'll be adding it to this code pipeline. It seems like they're pushing us to a direction yes. of we need to automate a lot of things. We need, to, but we could have manually created, yeah. you know, a deployment. Right. We could a lot. We it said we didn't have to SSH into an EC2, but we could have. Yeah. And no, easily. Yeah. So, this is the better approach. Yes. But I like to always point out. It's your choice. Yeah. You get to pick how you solve the challenges, usually. Yeah. All right, so we're, 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 we're waiting, waiting for the build. We're waiting. I'm going to come back here and see if there's anything else we can. Did we get any points yet? Yeah, Jeff, we did. We got native. Uh, well, wait, for our hands. Hold on a second. Look at <laughs> that. <laughs> how exciting, now, right? Well, now, this is suddenly a little bit less fun. Now that I'm. <laughs> Well, I'm keep, joking, it, keep in mind, we're only doing the first task of the entire quest. So um, this is, you're setting up yourself, like AM said, there's different ways to do it, but you're setting yourself up for what's to come to complete getting the those quest. Multipliers, getting yeah. those bonus points. There's all kinds of, uh, if you do things very, uh, very efficiently with, with auto scaling, things like that, you usually get more points than yeah. you do when you're manually doing things. And I, and I could see maybe uh, a customer having a group of its own employees kind of doing this themselves to compete against each other. That would be fun. Oh, yeah. It happens all the time. And we definitely we do teams of four. People can play on their own as well. Oh, my gosh. Look. Yeah, we got unicorns now. We got the deployment. OK, so now we just need the URL, and we get to go to. Some of those um, unicorns had mustaches. Because do we need to update the Let right URL? Or is that the right one? Still, yeah, it's still the right one because that's okay. the one. Yeah, well, we got oh, yeah. five seconds left, so let's wrap up real hey. quick. If you want to play game day and you're at reInvent, head down to Mandalay Bay. Otherwise, look for us in the future. We'll be doing maybe some quests later on on AWS On Air. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe yeah. We'll thanks see. for coming, Marie. Thanks, and yeah, thanks it was for hosting, Jeff. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for watching.